Hi there, and welcome to 10.6 Consulting. Today we're going to look at creating a baseline in Primavera P6. So, what is a baseline? A baseline is a snapshot of a project schedule that's taken before work begins on the project. According to the second edition of the PMI's practice standards for scheduling, the first version of the project schedule that's developmentally complete is formally known as the Project Baseline Schedule Model. In Primavera P6, this is referred to as the Project Baseline. This baseline is the benchmark against which project performance will be measured. It's generally accepted best practice that every project is to have a baseline schedule model in place before the beginning of any project work. So, why is a baseline so important? Without a baseline, it's basically impossible to track deviations from the original project plan. Managing a project without a baseline is rather like starting a diet without weighing yourself first. How can you track your progress without a record of your starting weight? The same is true for a schedule. Without a record of the original plan, you cannot possibly measure the variance from the plan once work starts. And because you have logical relationships maintaining the precedence network, changes in the actual execution of the work change the forecast dates throughout the remaining schedule. Therefore, without a baseline, you can quickly lose sight of the original plan. This could be costly in both monetary and credibility terms for your company. To put it bluntly, without a baseline, you have no way to track variance. Without variance tracking, you have no early warning of potential issues. Without an early warning, issues become surprises and the entire project eventually deteriorates into an ongoing firefighting process. So a baseline is not just important to a project, it's a vital tool in support of useful and effective scheduling. Creating and maintaining baselines in Primavera P6. In Primavera P6, there are two steps to baseline management. The first step is to create a baseline and the second step is assigning that baseline to the project. P6 has the concept of a project baseline, which can be thought of as the master baseline, and user baselines, which can be used to display more ad hoc snapshots of the project at various stages of its execution. You can assign up to three user baselines. These are primary, secondary and tertiary. When you create a baseline and assign it to your project, it functions as a frozen copy of the schedule that doesn't change. As the current schedule changes, you can compare it with the baseline and see variances in dates, durations, costs and so on. These variances can be used to quantify the extent of deviation from the original plan. Creating a baseline to create a baseline in P6, we'll be using the Maintain Baselines option in the Projects menu. When this option is selected, the Maintain Baselines dialog opens. In here, you will see a list of any open projects. In this case, we have just the one Wellmont substation project open, and thus is already highlighted. To create the baseline, the Add button is clicked. In the Add New Baseline dialog, we will go with the default option to save a copy of the current project as a new baseline. After a couple of moments, a baseline copy of the project appears under the project heading with a suffix of B1. In the lower portion of the dialog, you can edit the name of the baseline project using the Baseline Name field. You can also view the data date and the last update date indicating the date on which the currently selected baseline was created. There is also a baseline type field, in which you can select from a number of predefined baseline types. These are simply labels you can apply to the baseline to help keep track of its purpose. For example, we will set our Wellmont baseline to a value of management sign-off baseline. 
Your list of baseline type options may differ from this depending on how your admin categories have been set up by your system administrator. The baseline we've just created is actually a full copy of the project in the database. It just doesn't show up as a project in the project view of P6. However, certain items of its data can be seen within the current project once it has been assigned to the project baseline or one of the user baselines. So let's now look at how to assign this baseline to our Wellmont project. Again, we return to the project menu, and this time we choose the Assign Baselines option. In the Assign Baselines dialog, we can see the currently open project in the top field. Below that field is the Project Baseline field, which is set to Current Project at this point. Basically, it's using the current project to display values in the baseline fields. This means that the current project is actually doubling as a baseline. If baseline dates, durations or costs are being displayed in the project's table area, these fields will simply match the current values of the project. Not very useful. What we need to do here is set the project baseline's fields value to the Wellmont baseline we just created. This takes care of the project baseline assignment and now ensures that if the current plan begins to change, the project baseline fields in P6 will reflect the baseline values, not the current project's values. If you'd like to learn more about Primavera P6, then 10.6 offers some great online training courses. These courses are written by industry experts and offer you all the skills you need to get up and running as a P6 scheduler. For more information, visit our website at 10.6.com for full details on how to get started.